Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Three Floyds Brewing. And guys, see, these guys' beers hadn't been available here until very, very recently, as far as I know. And they didn't have a huge selection at the beer store uh, from this brewery, so um, I don't know how they're getting their hands on it at the beer store. I didn't ask anybody. Uh, but uh, Three Floyds is coming all the way from Indiana here. So evidently they're getting bigger or getting a bigger distribution. Somehow the beer store had it there. So I went ahead and picked it up. This is Crom's Beard IPA. 7.5% alcohol by volume. And underneath it says it was packaged on 081221 and it's written um, digitized but it's in it's very big, it's very easy to read, so very very nicely done. Plain Jane silver can with a stick on the label, uh, 16 ounce. Uh, there's a lot of three Floyds beers that are very hard to get. Uh, uh, they come out and they set they they release and they sell out. I mean, uh, I, I like some of the uh, New England breweries that are producing these New England style beers. Uh, they don't have a distribution. Everything's sold out the door. So evidently, with uh, uh, with it being available here, maybe the selection will get bigger and uh, we'll have more variety from this brewery. So, 7.5% uh, alcohol. 60 IBUs on this. Uh, it says a single hop IPA brewed with strata hop. So, strata hops for everything. I mean, uh, bitterness, aroma, flavor. Uh, a new hop from Oregon with aromas of passion fruit, grapefruit, and wafting weed. Wafting weed. He dwells on a great mountain, what used to call on him. Little he cares if men live or die, better to be silent than to call his attention to you or you send you dooms, not fortune. Robert E. Howard. Hmm. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. <laughs> uh, the pictures here on Untapped, uh, it doesn't look super cloudy, super hazy, so I, I'm not expecting a New England style. Uh, color or aromas or taste from this beer. So we'll find out whether it's more of a West Coast style or an East Coast style depending, but it is a single hop beer so I'm not expecting it to be off the chain hoppy unless they put a boatload of hops in there. So let's find out. Let's get it open, get it into the glass. I'm not pouring it super aggressive because I read that it, it can be slightly heavily carbonated. So I, I didn't want to have four fingers of head by pouring it too aggressive. And even pouring it that gentle, we still got two fingers of head. Now it is kind of hazy, guys. I mean, it looks a lot hazier in my glass than it does when the glasses is sitting uh, on the pictures here in front of me. Uh, it's a hazy beer. I can see like through the thin part and I actually see a little like through the big bulb part down here. But uh, it is quite hazy. Uh, not to the New England hazy, but really good looking beer. And like I said, these guys do some really tasty stuff. I'm glad they're finally available here. 
I mean, their zombie dust and some of the other stuff that they produced, uh, really tasty beers, guys. I mean, uh, so uh, let's find out what this one's about. Let's dive in. Cheers. Got a little bit of citrusy, uh, maybe orange, mango. And that's about it. That's about all I'm getting. Well, let's see if the taste is online. Very smooth, very easy drinking. About what I expected for a single hop beer. And there is a very fine sediment settling to the bottom of the glass. So, uh, might be an unfiltered beer, guys. Uh, doesn't say anything other than what I've told you so far. So, basically, it is what it is there. And, get the very back end in there. Like I said, the sediment is not big chunks or anything, but it's a very fine sediment. Looks like it's settling in the bottom of the glass there. So, decent beer right now. So, let's, uh, let's sip on it and see where it ends up. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while. It's up to room temperature. Decent lacing is left on the glass. Uh, it's a tasty beer, guys. I'm not going to take anything away. I don't think it's world class or outstanding. Um, you may disagree, but uh, it's a single hop beer. So, uh, I mean, uh, it's not super hoppy and it's not super malty. So, uh, decent. I mean, uh, enjoyable beer. Uh, I'm not sure it'd be something I'd pick up again, but it's in my go to range and if it's reasonably priced, it could be. A very nice go-to beer. 7.5% ABV. It's worthy. Final check. Uh, to me guys, it's got the ABV on it. It's got the date on it in big letters where you can see what it is. Uh, 16 ounce. To me, I, I could go 89 or 90, uh, but since it's got all that information, and it was a decent beer for a single hot beer, uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I may pick this up again. Uh, I liked it, so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it to 90. 90 for me, A minus, just into the A minus. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 89 in their very good range, so I'm one one away from that. I'm, I'm on the fence. If it didn't have a date on it or the ABV on it, it wouldn't have got that. So, uh, and over to Untapped, and they have it at 3.95. And never done. They've been doing this beer for a while, guys, because uh, 4,600 plus people have commented on this one. Uh, first time I've had it though. But like I said, they make some highly sought after beers. So. Uh, Maybe I'll see some of them. Anyway, if you've had this one from uh, Three Floyds, Crom's Head, that's what this one's called. Decent beer. I liked it. Tasty. Well, do we meet again? Let's go see what's in the fridge.